now we need to create the most important thing that is our upload request body as we need to update the progress bar as well we need to create a custom request body that will hold our file so we will create a class here and we will name it upload request body we have class upload request body and to this class we will pass three parameters the first one is the file that we want to upload the next one is the content type and it is a string and the last one is the upload callbacks we will define private val callback and it is an upload callback and this interface we will create inside this upload request body class only so let's define it we will define an interface that is upload callback and inside this interface we will define our callback function that will update the progress upload progress so we have everything for now we need to extend request body class to this class it is very important as we extended the request body class to our upload request body class and this class is an abstract class so we need to implement all the abstract functions of this class to our upload request body class and it is very easy just press alt enter select implement members and implement the functions so we have two functions overridden now for the content type we will directly return the content type using content type equals to media type dot parse and we will pass our content type with an asterisk this means all files of this content type we also need to define content length and for this we will override the function content length and it will return the length of the content that is the file so we will return here file dot length like this now inside this function write to we write all the contents of the request into this sync so let's do it first we will get the length here from the file so we will write file dot length then we need to create a buffer but before creating the buffer we will define a companion object and we will define the default buffer size and let's say it is 1048 that is basically 1 MB so let's define a buffer now we have val buffer equals to byte array and we will define default buffer size as 1 MB now we will create a file input stream and we will define the input stream using the file that we already have in this class that is the file that we are uploading so we have the length we have the buffer and we have the file input stream now let's define a variable that is uploaded and it will track all the bytes that are uploaded right now it is 0 and it is long value that's why I defined L now let's use the file input stream in Kotlin we have a very nice function that is use so whenever you are using a resource that needs to be closed you can use this use function and you do not need to worry about closing the resource okay so that is why I'm using this use here because I need to close the file and put string now here we will define a variable read that is of type end then we will define a handler and we will get the handler from the looper 
and we will get the main looper this is basically the main thread because we need to update the progress in the main thread so we have the main looper here now we will read all the contents from the file input stream so let's write a while loop here so we have while it dot read it is our input stream and we will read in the buffer and then we will write also and again we are using also so we will define the name here that is file input stream because we will use the it inside this also so we have file input stream here then read buffer also and here we can use the it so it won't shadow our variables and inside also we will write read equals to it and we will check if it is not equals to minus 1 so if it is minus 1 that means we read all the contents from the file input stream so we will loop till we don't find minus 1 now inside the loop we will post the progress update in our handler because we want to update the progress in the main thread and to do this we need to create one more class here so let's create the class here we have inner class progress update and to this class we will pass private val uploaded that is a long value and we have private val total that is also a long value we will inherit runnable in this class and we need to override the run function because we implemented runnable in this class and inside this run we will send the callback using our upload callback interface but for now let's finish this write to function so here we will write handler dot post and we will post the runnable we already created the runnable that is our progress update class so we will create a runnable instance here that is our progress update and we will pass uploaded and total that is the length now we will update the uploaded value that is uploaded plus equals to read so whatever is read that is uploaded finally we will write in sync so we will write sync dot write we will pass the buffer offset is zero and the red content so everything is fine here and we have an issue uh, we already have file input stream here so we should write here input stream instead of file input stream because name should be different so everything is fine i think now let's create our upload callback so inside this upload callback i will define a function that is on progress update and it will give us percentage of type end so whatever percentage is uploaded we will get it from this function now here we just need to call callback dot on progress update and we need to pass the percentage and to get the percentage we can write here 100 multiplied by uploaded divided by total and we need to convert it to end that's all so we are getting the progress update so everything is fine i think